Welcome everyone to the Currently On podcast and welcome to a special Currently On YouTube video. Now, if you've been listening to the Currently On podcast, you know right now I'm doing kind of a mini series where I'm offering an in-depth and comprehensive re review of AT&T TV. And because we're reviewing a television streaming service, we feel like we need to make some videos. So what we're going to do this, we're gonna make a series of videos. They're all gonna be you know, put together so it will look like one long video, but I'm gonna give you an overview. We're gonna look at how some different things work. We're gonna compare it to something like Hulu uh, live television. We're gonna do an unboxing of the AT&T TV streaming device. I'm just gonna give you a lot of information. Hopefully uh, this will be beneficial and helpful because I know that I have watched a number of YouTube videos about AT&T TV, and some of those videos have either, one, contained absolutely false information, two, misleading information, or number three, just confusing. So I'm hopefully going to try to remove the confusion, but let me be honest with you. Trying to explain AT&T TV is confusing by nature because AT&T has made it confusing. And so um, I, I, I'm already worried that as soon as I start trying to explain this, it's going to sound confusing and I'm just gonna do my very best. So are, are you ready? So here we go. What you're currently looking at is my television. That's the screensaver. We are, uh, the, the screensaver is coming from my Apple TV 4K. And uh, we're gonna be using this for a few minutes before we get uh, the AT&T TV streaming device hooked up. But here is an overview. Let's, let's, I'm gonna try to do this quickly. Here we go. AT&T TV is a streaming service brought to you by AT&T. The AT&T TV streaming service really has two methods of delivery, two different ways that you can receive the service. Number one is the AT&T TV streaming service that requires you to have a two-year contract and they send you, I'm gonna hold it up. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. They send you the AT&T TV streaming box, all right? So that's one way of getting the AT&T streaming service, by a two-year contract and they send you a box. The other way is you can go on your smart television, Apple TV, Roku. You can go to the channel store where, uh, on Apple TV. You can go to the app store and you can uh, look for AT&T TV. And you can download that app and you can just subscribe. You don't, you don't need the box that AT&T sends you. You don't need a two-year contract. There you go. Now with this, the one you're currently looking at, AT&T TV, the streaming service that doesn't require a contract, doesn't require their box. Let me make it very clear. This one, the price, the uh, packages are very expensive and you do not get a first year discount. The AT&T TV streaming service that requires a two-year contract and they send you a box, you get a big first year discount. After that first year discount goes away, the prices are gonna to revert to the AT&T TV streaming service that doesn't require a box and doesn't require a contract. So just make sure you understand that. What we're going to be doing is primarily focusing on the AT&T TV streaming service that requires a two-year contract and they send you a box. Now, I do want to make a couple of things clear. This is very, this is so confusing, but just follow me. When you sign up for the AT&T TV streaming service that requires a two-year contract and they send you a box, the minute you sign up, you get an email. And guess what that email is going to tell you to do? to go to any app store on your device, smart television, Apple television, Roku, whatever, and they're gonna tell you to download the AT&T TV app, <laughs> which is the service you can get without going through the two-year contract or getting the box. And they're gonna tell you, you can start enjoying AT&T TV right now. And so as soon I signed up on Sunday, they told me to download the app, I did, and here we go. Um, this is via the app, uh, Apple television. Okay, there you go. And um, it immediately starts working. You don't need the box, you don't need anything, which raises the question, why do they have a box? Why are they paying to create a box, store a box, and ship a box if you can start using the service without a box? It's very confusing. But on one side, this is very good. If you buy the AT&T TV service and you get the box and you've got extra TVs in your house, guess what? They don't need the box. 
They can just download the app and they can start streaming as well. You can go up to three different streams for AT&T TV, all right? So there you have it, uh, that's the app. Now, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a difference between AT&T TV, we're just using the app right now, I'm gonna show you a difference between it and Hulu. And this is a big difference, and I just wanna get this out of the way right now, because this may change some people's opinion right from the start. I'm gonna go to Hulu, and we're gonna go to Hulu Live. All right, we go to Hulu Live, if I bring up the guide, please note what happens. Right now, there is Storage Wars on, on a and &E. I'm going to click on it. It's going to give me two options. Watch live or watch from the start. I click on watch from the start, and guess what happens? The episode now is getting ready to start. Here we go. It started right back at the beginning. There you go. All right, it starts back from the start. So now it doesn't do that for every single channel on Hulu Live, but most of them, when you're watching, if you're going through the guide and oh, here's a show I wanna see, you click on it, it will say watch live or start from the beginning. You can click start from the beginning. Now, if you go to AT&T TV, through the app on Apple TV, guess what happens? I'm gonna bring up the guide. Okay, here's the guide. I'm gonna click all, I'm gonna go all the way back here to the top. There's a, oh, there's Storage Wars, okay? The same one that was on Hulu. I'm gonna click on it. Guess what? I can't start back at the beginning. I can't rewind it. I, I'll just change channels. So, that is a major difference. For some people, that's a deal breaker. Some people that are like, forget it, I'm not getting AT&T TV just because of that, I at least wanted that difference to be seen. So let's review really quick. AT&T TV is a streaming service. There's two met methods of delivery. AT&T TV, the one that requires a two-year contract and they send you a box. The other one is AT&T TV. You just download the app for your smart television, Apple TV, Roku. You can sign up immediately, no two-year contract, but you do not get the first year discount. The one that requires a two-year contract, they give you a big first-year discount. The second year, the prices jump to what you would be normally paying if you subscribe to AT&T TV without the box and without the two-year contract via the app. So the big question is, then why do they have a box? Why do they send you a box? Why do you need the box? Does the box make it better? Does the box make it worse? Why even have the box? Is the box a game changer? Well, we're going to review the box. That's what we're going to do. And we're getting ready to do that here in just a minute. Um, it, we're, I'm going to have my camera person, Kate, go ahead and look down at the box. There is the box. And we're going to do an unboxing here coming up next. All right, now we're going to move to the AT&T TV streaming box. Comes in this. All right, I took it out as nice as I could so that um, if I decide to send it back, which there's a good possibility that I will, that I can send it back and not get charged. Okay, we'll be talking about the charge because actually I've already been charged, which is kind of interesting, but we'll talk about that later. You open it up. Comes with this. Kick back. Welcome to the best seat in the house from AT&T. All right. Comes here with your safety care instructions. Yeah, you need to, I'm gonna make you read this. Okay, I'm gonna read this to you. No, I'm not. Okay, that would be bad, All right? Here is the remote. Now, this is what a lot of people have praised the box for. If you, uh, I'm gonna try to take this out as carefully as possible, not to mess this up. Here we go. Nice and neat. There we go. All right, here we go. Here is the remote. It feels like an actual, does it look good? It, it feels like an actual, you know, TV remote that you, you would have used to for your television or maybe for a cable service. Um, in the room right now with me is Landon. Will you hand me the Apple TV remote? Okay. It's right there on the couch. Yep. All right, here's the comparison. Here's an Apple TV remote. <laughs> Okay, Apple TV remote, those are, 
it take you a while to get used to using these things, right? And they're easy to lose, okay? This one actually looks like an actual remote. It's, it feels heavy. Um, you'll notice there's number keys. Can you see the number keys? Number keys, you can look, what are all the buttons on there? You can, you, since you're looking at them. When the guide, home, input, off, list, all the normal buttons you'd have on a remote, mute, previous. Right, and you see right here, that's the Google Assist. So you can ask Google to change channels, do things for you. So that's one of the things that a lot of people have praised this for is because they're like, wow, it's an actual remote. Now, I don't know if that's gonna, if that's gonna change anything or, or you know, make it worthwhile, but there you go, All right? Then the device itself is just a, a little square. There's not much to it. It's just like a normal, uh, you know, streaming box. Be careful. I'm gonna try to pull this apart without tearing it up. There we go. Okay, those are really hard. You wanna keep the devices really safe. <laughs> we do. Yeah, you don't wanna scratch them or anything. Nope, not if we have to send it back. Here yeah. we go. Pull that out. Goodness gracious. There's the front of it. Here's the back. You can see an ethernet, uh, power cord, HDMI, just your basic, your basic inputs. Can you see them all really well? You can see each one if you need to know what they, they are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up and then we'll go through the install process, what it looks like, and then we'll see, we'll make a judgment if this box makes AT&T TV service worthwhile. Um, if this box is not just extraordinary and better than say my Apple TV, then I have no idea why I need this box when I could already be using the service, as you've seen, using my Apple TV. So is this box a game changer? If it's not a game changer, then AT&T TV is just another streaming service that is far more expensive than Hulu, Fubo TV, and uh, Sling TV, and all the others. Now. Is it worthwhile because of the number of channels they offer? We'll be talking about that at a later time. But we'll hook this up, and in the next segment, we'll show you the install on the screen. Okay, we now have the device, the AT&T streaming device, hooked up to the television. Now, we ran into one problem. My Samsung television is not recognizing the box. Typically, let's say I hook up an Apple TV or a Roku, it will say you've hooked up an Apple TV uh, box and it will recognize it. It's not recognizing the AT&T streaming box. So we'll have to see how that plays out. I just skipped up, skipped that entire step, but it's hooked up, it's on the screen and it's telling me to uh, pair the remote. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna press the buttons on the remote. There we go. Now it's doing that. That's cool. Maybe. Very cool. <laughs> it's doing something. Whoa. Okay. Oh, we're paired. Success. All right. Now, what do we need? We need oh, we got to connect to the internet. Okay. We're going to connect to the internet, but I'm not going to have you watch me uh, put in my password. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are back. We have connected to the internet. I didn't want to sit there and have you watch me type in my password on a new remote that took 37 minutes. No, it didn't take 37 minutes, but it took some. So we got, uh, right now we're waiting for it to download. Here's some uh, trivia. All right, uh, I guess I can pick which one. The audience originally series Mr. Mercedes was based on a novel by what famed uh, author? That would be Stephen King, if I remember correctly. And I am correct. There we go. Based on the novel, the same name by Stephen King, Mr. Mercedes is a mystery thriller television series. Is it, is it available on AT&T TV? Uh, what is one of the most commonly used statements on competitive reality shows? Catch me outside, how about that? I didn't come here to make friends. I didn't come here to make friends is what my, is Caitlin is telling me, or Kate. Thank you. I didn't come here to make friends it has become such a Popular quip, reality show producers will even ask the more cutthroat con contestants to say it. The audience original series Condor was adapted from this classic spy thriller no novel. 
Three Days of Condor would be the one I would go with. Yeah, you see, we're, we, we have all this information about useless, <laughs> useless facts. If it asks us something important, we won't know. Who's the President of the United States? We don't know. <laughs> no, that's a joke. We know. But how many games does a typical sports broadcaster cover per season? How many games does a typical sports broadcaster cover per season? I'm going to say uh, less than 50. I'm going to say up to 100. Boom! Look at that! In this riveting uh, video. Okay. On the audience original series, Loud Milk, Wilder Milk, what does Ron Livington's character do for a living? I've never seen this show. Never heard of him. Let's go, let's go with a dentist because that just sounds funny. And I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so close. I, I wanted it. A counselor seems too, just too, like, Weird. that's easy to predict. I knew that was the answer. Dentists would have been funnier. It may seem like a strange thing, but the 80s breakfast favorite is suddenly popular again. What was the 80s breakfast it's favorite? It's frozen waffles, I bet, because of Stranger Things. Oh, maybe. Yep. Oh, there you go. I, did, I didn't see Stranger Things. I bet you you're right. I don't like frozen waffles, but I eat warm waffles. An editing trick used in reality television where a piece of conversation is placed into a different part of the show. Ooh. I like both of those names. I'm going to go with Frankenbite. Boom! <laughs> oh, because late, what, what you're learning, boys and girls, is that reality TV It's not reality. Okay, it's cut, it's edited, it's chopped up. They get you to say certain things. Um, what snack is an audience favorite at movie theaters in Japan? Dried, dried sardines. sardines. If it's dried sardines, I can tell you this. I'm never going to a movie theater in Japan. It's like they force ever. you to eat it. That's, I would smell it and go... Okay, <laughs> try it. Me too. <laughs> yep. So right. that's just, I'm not going to Japan. Yeah. I'm not going to Japan to go to a movie theater. That is, can, I, oh, that's disgusting. But look, you can easily find popcorn. Yeah, too. but you're going to have to smell the dried sardines. <laughs> Okay. Watching what type of program at the gym can actually help you burn calories. <laughs> sports. Sports. It's New, sports. Uh, which one? I mean, sports makes sense. Sports makes no sports. sense, but I feel like I burn calories when I watch the news because, because it stresses me out. Because <laughs> news, news, news is on at every gym, right? Yeah, yeah. But sports. Let's go with news. Oh, no. no then the why sports. do they have news on? See, I was right. But they have sports on, too. All right. I was right. I mean, that makes the most sense, but it just seems... Too obvious. All right, how many more trivia questions? Do we have? What genre of television shows do viewers in the UK like watching most? Baking competition. Yeah, baking competition. No, oh, I was actually going to say documentaries. That was wrong. That's why Gordon Ramsay came to the United States. Okay. Mm -hmm. Documentaries, wow. I definitely would have guessed documentaries. Oh, so close, but wrong. What is the name of popular television genre? Scandinavia. Scandinavia broadcasting hours of pro. Oh, slow TV. Slow TV. Ooh, got that one. Knew that. I've watched it. Me too. If you've never seen it, it's, it's the weirdest thing. It'll be like six hours of just a train ride with the camera just showing. Oh, that's cool. It, no, it's crazy. If you can watch it on Pluto TV. If you want to watch Slow Ride TV, go to Pluto. It's free. Download the app and you can watch it. As of 2016, over 300 American baby girls have been given which famous name? Khaleesi, I bet. Khaleesi, that... Khaleesi, Khaleesi. It's Khaleesi, Lele. It's Khaleesi. Yeah, because of what? Game of Thrones, right? Oh, maybe you're right. I never watched it, but... Why is there, like, sand on it? All right, we're almost there with the updates. Maybe the trivia is over. No? Nope. How many hours do co contestants on cooking competitions? Oh, nope. here we go. All right, your system will restart now. One quick restart, and you're finished. Here we go. So that's kind of cool they do the trivia. I think that's at least. Yeah. And welcome back. Yes, we now, everything, and I was checking for more updates. So we're waiting. Um, it, did a, it did a complete power shutdown and restart. Good news, you're all up to date. Here we go. Yay. I bet you it's going to make me log in. Yeah, here we go. So we're going to have to do this. So we'll, I'm going to log in, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, we have we did the login, and this is what comes up. We have to accept terms and conditions. 
which is the thing that no one ever reads, so who knows. I've accepted so many terms and conditions without reading that they probably own my body, my brain, my blood, my home. Um, it's just weird how many times we just see this and we don't ever stop to ask, oh, you know, there could be something illegitimate in it, but we don't read them, we just accept them. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, so here we go. Where, where will we be using the AT&T TV? We're gonna be using it in, uh, I guess we'll call it the family room, I guess. Get more from your at and TV experience with Google. On the next screen, sign in with a Google account to enjoy the following features and more, or skip signing in to continue setting. And we're gonna, we're gonna skip this for now um, because I don't wanna do that right now. Let's see here. Um, I don't want to do. I don't I want to skip. How do I skip? I don't know how to skip. Skip. Oh, I may have to I may have to do this for now. Oh, here we go. Now we can skip. All right. And it'll be interesting. I do want I will set it up with my Google account, but I just don't want to do that now for the video because that would be kind of boring. All right. Here we go. We got to accept more. Uh yes, going to have to use my help and group. Okay, we're going to do yes. Welcome to Android TV. This is an Android TV box. All right, here we go. Uh, also, the Google Play Store is available, so um, all the apps will come from the Google Play Store. This means you can download apps from this box like you can download uh, Disney Plus, you can download HBO Max, you can download, uh, I don't know Hulu's available yet on here, um, but that this is gonna kind of be a one, a, you know, a one a box for everything, which is one of the reasons they have it. But again, I can get all of those apps on my Apple TV along with AT&T TV. So this is kind of weird still, but let's see what happens here. All right, Chromecast is built in, so I can stream your favorite entertainment from your phone, table, or laptop right to your TV. So you would just take your device, connect it there. And, all right, so that, that's interesting, I guess. You can do the same thing with your Apple television. Doing the finishing touches, just a moment while our home screen is prepared. Now sit back while we load your TV. All right, say it's gonna take two minutes. We'll see if it takes, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this going to see if it takes a full two minutes. It's adding channels. You like the little, you like that? Yeah. That's Landon speaking, those who are hearing him. Kate is the camera person. Landon is the uh, helper and I'm t the talker. And the dog is sleeping. Yeah, and if you hear Connie, him snoring, it's, Connie, it's okay. Connie the yeah. We're waiting. Here we go. And if you're not familiar with streaming boxes, this is the kind of setup you do with a Roku. This is the kind of setup you do with an Apple television. So all of them have uh, this, uh, this process that can be at times feel lengthy. Okay, the building the guide. Got 90 seconds left. Their, their time, their time thing is pretty accurate. It appears the yeah. when they tell you how long it appears. We'll see. On the rock, uh, here we go. Actually, that's quicker than okay. Fourth, okay. They're adding four forty thousand titles plus of on-demand content. Uh, oh, we need to go pop some popcorn. Okay, nobody popped any popcorn, so we'll do that later. There's the AT&T logo. Some people think that just means there should be a dollar sign because they uh, overprice, some people believe. That's what we're trying to determine. AT&T TV. We're waiting. We'll have to see. Again, the, the whole thing we're going to try to determine here is if this box, like what makes this box? Why do you need the box? So we will see. I'm just, it's just so interesting. Okay, well, we're, they signed us right into, now this is interesting. The ch last channel I was watching on uh, live on my uh, Apple TV app, it's available here, all right? So now picture quality, I'm not super 
impressed as of yet. Hang on, let's go here. I'm gonna go down. All right, I can, I can jump to live, so it didn't jump to live. That's interesting. Okay, I guess that just brings that. All right, here comes the guide. It's got, uh, there's the MLB, oh. Okay, so um, I saw, now this is good. I went to MLB TV, and obviously there's a blackout. There's a YouTube video going around saying there are no blackouts on AT&T TV. That's not true. Uh, based off your location, there's a baseball game coming on that somehow there's a blackout. It can uh, apply to you. I, I, I watched that YouTube video now three times, and I don't know why the guy is telling everyone there are no blackouts. That's not true. There are blackouts, and we just saw that. So that was uh, positive right there that we saw that. Okay, and that's true. Uh, now what's it doing? Okay, wait a minute. It's doing some kind of loading. That's weird. All right, that's okay. We're still learning. I'm, I'm still learning all of the uh, buttons and everything here. <laughs> Did you say the same thing? Yes. All right. Okay, hey, I'm waiting for this to get done. I don't know what this is interesting. I don't know what it's doing. But that's, I mean, this is a new box. So this is the kind of things that happen. Now this is interesting, it's got a previous, so I think it may be able to allow you to go right back to the previous channel, which would really be cool. I saw a YouTube video that says it didn't have this on there, so. So many of the YouTube videos I, I saw about this, this is why I wanted to do this, is to try to clarify things and to see how things work or if there's any glitches. Yeah, let's see if it goes away. Your remote will be active soon. It's doing something with the remote. That's weird. That's interesting. I don't know what this is doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're waiting. This was weird. All right, your remote is ready to go. Okay, I thought it was already ready to go, but that's okay. All right, well, go to guide. All right, here we go. I hit the guide button, brought up the guide. So let's go down. We'll just go down to NBA playoffs. Well, in this series, has not scored yet in 16 minutes. He's 0 for 4. All right, this is previously recorded. Tim All right. Now, I am not a big fan of the pitcher. Yeah, I don't, I'm not getting this. So we're going to do, hang on, we're going to see here. We're gonna see if there's a setting button. Well, let's do this. Let's go to, we'll go back to guide. Go back to guide. We're gonna go over here to guide. Okay, it's got all channels. So we're gonna go all the way to the top. I've got the highest package that you can get. I don't wanna say, I don't wanna, I don't want Google Assist right now. I wanna just get back to the top. So give me one second here. I don't know if they're in order, hang on. Yeah, I think they're gonna be. No, it's just gonna to continue to go. I thought it would get back to the top. They're not in order. Oh, they're kind of in order. Those are C. Trying to see how they're labeled. Now there's an A, there's a C. They're not really in any stated order, which is kind of weird. Usually there's a starting point. Yeah, this just continues to go, so that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. So let's go here. Okay, there's my local channels, CBS. Oh, now here's Netflix. That's does that open Netflix? Yeah, you probably can log on. Yeah, launch app. It says. So does it take you? Okay. So it has Netflix on the box. It has net. Yeah, Netflix. So I have to sign in. We'll we'll do that here in a little bit. All right. So that's kind of interesting. No, I'm gonna hit the. Yeah, the previous is not helping me here. Okay, Take let's. Back uh, Go back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there is a back button, so that's good. 
All right, let's go to CNN really quick. The dog is snoring. Yeah, when you put that picture up on the screen, it, it hits home and it becomes really real, uh, especially for those of us that are fathers to uh, young okay. white boys and girls in this country having to grow up um, and know that That's those, nice. You those can just say closed yeah. captioning. So yeah, that's all cool. All the Google Assist things are good. Picture quality, though, I'm still not. I'm still not happy with. I don't really know what's going on there. Um, we're gonna. We'll, we'll we'll be back in a second. I'm gonna look for uh, the settings feature, and then once I find the settings feature, we'll we'll see if we can uh, Im improve anything. All right, we are back after kind of a long delay. Um, the picture quality was not good, and we were really trying to figure out what to do. So here's what we discovered. If you go to the home button. Way over here, there's settings. And under settings, if you go to system, you have your display. And what we realized is you have, here's your choices, but what it's going to do, it's basically forcing ultra high def. It's basically forcing ultra high def. So it makes everything look really dark. So I had to go on my TV settings and go to standard uh, for, for the brightness which really then made everything look better. So that's something you have to realize. You'll have to mess around with the screen resolution. It's under settings. Once you do that, then I believe things uh, start looking a little bit better. We also discovered why we why it was weird trying to figure out the uh, channel situation here. Wait, let me go here. Um, the, uh, the channel situation under settings. Let me go back to settings. We go back to settings here. Um, here's the guide sorting. You can do the numeric guide if you know all the numbers. Probably if you are a DirecTV subscriber, these are gonna be basically the same numbers. But if you don't want the numeric guide, then they have the alpha guide, which will put them in alphabetical order. That's why it wasn't making any sense to me. You can change that there under settings, okay? So there is all of that. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back you can see now the brightness. I'm gonna go back to this show. You can see the brightness is far better now, a whole lot better. Um, it's hard. I can sit here and flip from uh, Apple TV. I still think the Apple TV looks better. Uh, I'm gonna to have to spend some time, I think. Do you agree? Yeah, I think Apple looked better. Once you turn the brightness up, it was more similar, but still, yeah. Apple's better. Apple's better. So, which again, if, if, if that proves to be true, then, it, then there's no need for this box. The box is of no value, um, which is kind of disappointing. Um, we'll I'll, I'll have to be messing around and see if there's any other features from the box. But what we can do here is we can, uh, we'll go back. I'm gonna go to the guide. I was trying to go to the guide and then, oh, here's go. And then go to the guide, I got all the, all the channels. Now they should be in alphabetical order and I'll just run through. I have the, the package with everything, okay? So here we go, we're just gonna go through these really quick, okay? Um, all right, it starts with, uh, we keep going, get all the way to the top. Here we go, it starts with A and E. So you have A and E, ABC, uh, ACCN, College Football, AccuWeather, uh, this is the Cinemax, one of the Cinemax channels, Action Max, AMC, uh, AHC, Animal Planet, Aspire, AT&T, Sportsnet. Now this is where you're going to get uh, your regional sports channels. Uh, AWE, Access TV, Baby First, BB World, BBC World News, BBC America, BET, BET, Bloomberg, uh, Boomerang, Bravo, BTN, C-SPAN, C-SPAN, Cartoon Network, CBS Sports, CBS Local, that's my local uh, affiliate, uh, Cheddar, Cinemax, CMT, CNBC, CNBC, CNN, CNN, CNN International, Comedy TV, Comedy Central, Cooking HD, Crime Investigation, Destination America, Discover Family, Discovery, Discovery Life, Disney, Disney Junior, Disney XD, uh, DIY, E, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPN U, FM, Food Network, Fox Business, Fox HD, Fox News, Freeform, FS1, FS2, 
Fox uh, Oklahoma, Fox Southwest, Fuse, FXM, FXHD, FXHD, FIY, Galavision, Jim Shopping Network, Golf, Great American Country, Game Show, Hallmark. There's the three Hallmarks. Then there's HBO Max. That HBO Max would take me to the HBO Max app once I download it for the box. And it will launch the, uh, the app. I'll have to sign in there for everything um, and do that. Uh, HBO Max comes with it, uh, with this package. Uh, and I think you get it free for a year. Um, H, uh, this is for the two-year service again. Uh, HD, H, HGTV History, Headline News, uh, Home Shopping Network, HDNet Movies, IFC, ID, Justice Central, Lifetime, uh, Lifetime Movie Network, Logo, Longhorn, uh, Sports Network, MGM, MLB Baseball, Motor Trend, MSNBC, MTV Classic, MTV, MTV Live, MTV2, Net Geo Wild, National Geographic, NBA Play, uh, NBA TV, NBC, then Netflix, you can get to Netflix right there, NBCSN, NHL, Nick Jr., Nick, Nick HD, Nick Tunes, Olympic, OAN, uh, Ovation, Own, Oxygen, Paramount, Pop, uh, Q, QVC, Reels, Revolt, Red TV, Science, SEC, Shorts TV, Showtime, 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 Smithsonian, Sportsman, Stars Encore Action, Stars Encore Black, Stars, uh, Stars Encore Classic, Stars Encore Family, Stars Encore Suspense, Stars, Stars Encore West, I can't even talk right, Stars Encore Westerns, Stars Encore Kids and Family, Stars Encore, Stars, Sundance, Sci-Fi, Taste Made, TBS, TCM, T Nick, uh, Tennis, Weather Channel, TLC, TNT, Travel, True, TV Land, uh, 1HD, TVG, uh, UMass, Universal Kids, NBC Universal, uh, Univision, Up TV, USA, VH1, Vice, WE, and WGN. Now you'll see the two, that's a lot of channels, but the two ones that just jump out as missing is obviously NFL Network and NFL Red Zone, which are not available. Not for any upgrade, nothing, which makes it a big deal. What I've discovered is pretty much all the channels that are available here are available if you got Hulu, and you got Fubo TV, you got both Hulu Live, Fubo TV, you had both of them, you upgrade Fubo TV for the sports package, and you upgrade Fubo for, um, I think it's entertainment package, you'll get all of these channels, you will then have NFL and NFL Red Zone, it will cost you about a hundred, see, it's going to be about a hundred and seventy, a hundred, I think about a hundred and seventy dollars. Uh, if you want all of these channels where, um, but you do get NFL Network and NFL Red Zone. AT&T, if you do the two-year contract, everything you just saw is about 140, is 140 a month, which is a lot, but it's, again, it'd be 180 if I did it with Hulu and Fubo to get all of this. But the other way, I would have NFL Red Zone and NFL Network. Uh, the problem is after a year, everything that you see right here would cost me $183 a month which is what it would cost me with Hulu and Fubo right now. So the one year discount is great, but remember you end up with a two year uh, contract. And if you break the contract, it's $15 a month um, until the uh, end of the contract, I believe. So um, that's the situation. Our, our take of the box is, I, I've gotta sit here and spend some time messing with the box, and I gotta continue to see what settings I can change with the picture quality. But as of right now, I would say Apple TV app for AT&T TV is better than AT&T TV on the AT&T TV box. And would you agree? Yeah, for sure. Um, now, um, over time, maybe I'll change my mind, but uh, it's going to be hard. Once, and, and this is just true. Apple TV is, I, I, hands down, people who hate Apple, I'm sorry. Apple TV box is better than Roku. It's better than Fire TV. 
It's better than uh, the TiVo uh, streaming service. It's better than the ATT TV box. Apple TV gives you the best picture quality, hands down. The only flaw with Apple TV is in some of the sports channels, you do get a, what I call a frame skip or this little jerking motion, which drives me crazy. I'm gonna try some sports tonight on the AT&T TV box to see if it does that. Uh, but with, the, with uh, Apple TV, this is what I've learned. If it's doing that, let's say it's doing that on Hulu, I just use the Hulu app on my television to watch that sports game and the sk uh, frame skip goes away. I'm hoping the new Apple TV box that's supposed to come out does away with that. But still, the picture uh, for movies, TV shows, I'm sorry, Apple TV box is, is it's the best. There's just no way. There's no way to even compare, compare it. Um, it's, I don't even see how you can. can. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no comparison. So um, that's, that's it. Um, I don't know what else we can uh, really add to this. I, I would think uh, when you went on Apple, well, on Apple TV, when I went to, the, I will always say this about AT&T TV. One, it, sometimes it's a little slow to load. Yeah. And it seems to take like about almost five to seven seconds before the HD to really kick in. Don't you agree? Right. Mm -hmm. um, and on uh, Apple TV with Hulu, it only took like two seconds and it loaded a lot faster. So, uh, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, and see, here's the problem. Well, I don't know if you can see that. The problem is with, I had to boost the brightness because uh, the AT&T TV box is trying to up, upscale everything to ultra high def. Well, when you increase the brightness beyond what it should be, um, on areas where it's dark, you'll get this like grayish, um, and that's just, it's because your brightness is too high. Only problem is if we go back to normal brightness, it's gonna make everything look so dark that it looks uh, bad. And so I, I don't know the solution. Um, I don't, I don't, I like it to be able to match. What it should do is you should have a setting like on Apple TV, it will say match content. So in other words, if the content is in ultra high def, it's gonna go to ultra high def. If it's not in ultra high def, it's gonna switch back to 180 or 720 or whatever. The AT&T box is trying to automatically upscale to ultra, everything to ultra high def. I saw someone on YouTube saying that that's amazing. I don't think it's amazing. If it's not an ultra high def, I don't want it. I want it to be in its in what it's actually being shown in. If it's being shown in 720, then my display needs to be for 720. If it's if it's in 180, it needs to be for 180. Uh, the uh, automatically forcing ultra high def. You saw how dark it made everything. Mm -hmm. Made everything dark. So, um, our this is what I would say. I do like the remote at least temporarily. I got to get used to to using it. I would say this, um, as of right now, I cannot say that the box is not superior to an Apple TV box. Um, and I would say that I can pretty much get everything that AT&T is offering for pretty much close to the same price without a two-year contract by combining Hulu and Fubo. And here's the thing. I could get Fubo only for, like, if I want it for NFL Network and NFL Red Zone, I could get it just for the season, and then I could cancel it. Um, with AT&T TV, I mean, uh, if I go with a two-year package, I get the year discount, but i got to wait two years before I can get rid of it. Fubo, I could cancel and change and do whatever you want. I think it really matters. Do you want just everything in one service that's easy, or do you want to have to uh, put together different packages? I think with streaming boxes today, it's pretty easy to just have a, 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 a Hulu subscription and a Fubo subscription. I don't think it's that hard. Um, you can draw your own conclusions. Um, I, I think we've answered all the questions. You think of anything else that seems confusing? I think that that's it. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it there. If you have any questions, you can email me at newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. I've got about 12 days to use this box. I'm probably gonna try to use it for about five because I wanna make sure I get it sent back in plenty of time not to get uh, charged or, to, or I can get my money back because they've already charged me for the first month. Um, and uh, we'll see. If anything major changes, I'll let you know um, how the picture, qual I'm gonna be going back and forth between Apple and this over and over and over. I'm gonna have Landon here, um, sit here and spend all night watching and, and deciding. <laughs> you got anything to say, Landon? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, just the AT&T like box, whatever screen it is, 
The screen needs to be fixed and all of that. Yeah, I, I think the screen uh, is not very good. It's blurry. And sometimes it does it, it, does, it does look kind of flat. Yeah. Where the Apple TV looks way sharper. sharper. Now, now there's yeah. certain pictures that look really sharp here. Yeah. Like, not right? as sharp as. But still, when Apple. you go when you go to Apple, it's it's absolutely no. I mean, don't you agree? It's, yeah. It's this immediately fact. noticeable. And yes. I, we wouldn't be by recording this on our on a phone. You, you wouldn't really be able to tell. But yes. just trust us. Everyone here says the same thing. So, mm -hmm. all right, we'll you. stop there. Can I say one more? Story? Uh -huh. KFC is very good people. Make sure you get it. <laughs> okay. All right. There you have it. Um, I hope that answered all the questions. It's been interesting, and uh, I've always wanted to try this box, and I'm I'm kind of disappointed. At at the moment, I'm kind of disappointed in the AT and T TV box. If you're gonna have people use a box, it's got to be doing something that no other box is doing, and uh, I can do all of this with my Apple TV box and hey, actually do it better. So. All right, we'll stop there. There's a commercial for Sling. Listen, listen yeah. to the weather. All right, there you go. Everyone have a good one.